Hey guys, it's Dodderin. Uh, welcome back to another Minecraft video. It's been a while. I am inside the house that I maintain in Dodderin's World 2, which is uh, one of the multiplayer servers, uh, the private whitelisted servers that I maintain. And I was thinking that for the next several videos, um, I wanted to try videoing our attempt at a new uh, adventure that I created for the people on the server. Um, and I want to see if I can actually give it a shot myself. However, in order to undertake this, um, we are going to need to empty our pockets, basically. Uh, let's see, I don't think... Oh, here it is. I don't think I had a place for torches. And I, Oh, i got to take off my armor. Um, for this adventure, you can't have anything with you. Because anything you take is going to get taken away. So, uh, I'm just trying to make sure that I empty my pockets. Okay, no armor. I'm not carrying anything. Um, and I think we're okay. Actually, oh, bummer. Let me see. I've got a lot of experience left that I would really, wow, rather not get rid of. So, let me just take a second to uh, do an enchant real quick. And, um, again, I won't be able to take this where we're going, but at the same time, I've got almost 30 um, XP, so I don't want to lose that. So let me go upstairs real quick with this diamond pick and see what we can get. Here we go. All right, so I've got 26. Let's see what this will give us here. Um, oh, shoot, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to grab a torch or two. Um, can I get down there? No. Let's see. That should be good. Um, I don't know if you knew this trick or not, but when you have a full, fully assembled um, enchantment area and you uh, need to get some lower valued enchants, you can toss. Uh, Torches on the floor. See how I got a 22 now? I want to see if I can get something higher than a 22. Ooh, nothing. Well, that's not very nice. Um, oops, give me that back. Uh, let's try. Where did it go? Okay. Let's try putting it up here so it's only uh, only effectively blocking this one. There we go, there's a 28. Okay, so now we just gotta see if we can get a 26. Come on, nothing. Okay, hold on. Let's try over here. Uh, there we go, there's a 26. Again, I don't know what this is, but let's see what it gives us. Fortune two, efficiency three, and unbreaking three. I would call that a darn good pick. Um, excellent. All right, so now I am not carrying anything. I am not wearing anything. I have just created a wicked pick. And now I got a problem here. Um, I think I'm going to take these out. Um, this, I don't know why I keep. This is my ender chest where I don't want anybody stealing stuff. So here's a. Here's a really nice, I think that's probably the best pick I can get. Um, yeah, I've got some really nice picks in here. Power 2 Punch, Power 3, Power 2, those are all, um, uh, not this Power 3, but um, these two I had actually gotten from Zombies. Um, this one actually started off as two different bows that I was able to put into um, an anvil and combine. Uh, so that was kind of cool. All right, if I'm not going to put lapis in there, where should I put lapis? 
I got an extra chest over. Is it this? No. Yeah, this one. I'll leave, leave one out. And there we go. Okay. So, not wearing anything, not carrying anything, not going to lose any XP. All right, that sounds good. Well, now we need to get to where we can find out about this um, adventure. So here I am on the outside of my little plot that is in Dotterin's World 2. This is my main house. Um, I love that clock tower. That is amazing. Um, so what I want to do is kind of head down that way. And I think I want to head towards the center of town while listening to the pretty music. Um, the center of town has gotten to be so laggy because there is just so much really cool stuff here. Um, which is another reason I decided to create this. But we kind of need to get to the south side of town because um, it's actually located outside of town. So we're just going to head down here. Um, let's see. I don't want to tell you too much because we're going to find out in a second. But um, it's basically called domes. And you'll find out why in a minute. So let's just work our way. Uh, I think this is the right way. Oh no, that's not right. Why is this? This should be closed. Alright, somebody must have broke that. Uh, oh, alright, I must be at the wrong place. Alright, we're outside. This is my safety wall to keep all the bad guys out. Um, a lot of the younger players play inside where it's safe. Um, we're just going to have to go around. I thought I had the right side of town. I guess we got to come over this way. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but we I call it domes. And um, I've seen similar ideas created on other servers. Um, I am trying to be honest and say that uh, I, I knew of it, but uh, I did not do a video or anything along those lines. Um, I just kind of went with what I thought was going to be cool. So here's the main entrance to domes, and you can kind of see this one is sort of conical shaped, so it's not exactly a dome. Um, but this is the main entrance. So uh, the safety of the city is here, and then if they're interested, they could venture out. Are you ready for Domes Aquatic? Enter here. Let's check it out. Come downstairs for more information. Well, there's the dome. Hopefully we'll get back up here soon and see what we got. Hello there. How are you today? How's life for you in Dotterin City? Are you a bit bored? Ready for a new challenge? One that takes you out of DW2? You won't be coming back. Well, maybe not for a while. You'll be starting brand new. In fact, you'll need to leave your stuff in your house. Anything you may be carrying or wearing will be taken. You're going to need a boat where you'll be going. A sapling and a seed might also be very helpful. These will be given to you before you leave. You'll also be given the Book of Goals. Book of Goals? 
What is that? I told you, this is a new challenge for you. If you choose to accept, if you think you are ready, how many of the listed goals can you complete? I'm almost done making it, as it's a very big build. And then I'm going to kind of de deter. This is the entrance, which didn't exist, but I want you to see the whole thing. I know, it's a little cheesy, but it acts as a great uh, intro. Hello, kitty cat. We'll be welcoming in a new city, Aquatica. Head up the spiral stairs for more teaser info. And again, this is the underside of the dome. So this one here is sort of a sphere, half above ground, half below ground. Just something kind of fun to, to build. Um, all right, what do we got? So, have I piqued your curiosity? See this dome? There are 36 of them in the new Dome Aquatica. G glass covers grass, some torches, and an empty chest. You'll have the boat, sapling, and seed, but that's all. Have you seen all the beacon pyramids around town? They exist in Aquatica as well, giving speed to boost. Throughout the city, the water and all the domes within. So, you'll pick a dome, label it as yours, and survive. Your spawn will be reset to the central beacon. You'll be in an ocean but it's not completely empty. Get adventurous and swim down to behold the marvels that exist below the sea floor. There will be no time limit, so take your time and see how many of the goals you can complete from the book. You may not build outside your dome but can build underneath the dome. Do not build paths, bridges, etc. to other domes. You'll need to swim or boat to your neighbors. While you can choose to help each other, the real challenge comes in trying to accomplish all the goals by yourself. If you happen to leave the Aquatica City, Remember to empty your pockets before you return. You are on your own to attempt this honorable adventure. There will be no teleports allowed. Use the nether. When I'm fully ready to have you start, you will see a doorway at the bottom center of this sphere. Get ready. I hope this will give us all something new to try. Dome Aquatica. 36 domes, 25 beacons, lots of water. Will you take the challenge? Dotterin. And there it is. Dome's Adventure. Sort of modeled off of Skyblock that you may have seen. Uh, I didn't want to go that drastic because a lot of my users are on the younger side. Um, but it does have its challenges. Uh, I'll tell you some more information that these signs don't tell us. Uh, our daughter and city is located roughly at uh, zero, 00 on our XZ coordinate system. Domes is actually located 10,000 blocks away from Goddard City. And since there are no teleports, 
if they would like to come back to this Dotterin's world, they would need to walk or boat or swim for over three Minecraft days without dying. Because once they enter this portal, their spawn gets reset, and if they die, they stay in domes. Okay, with some coffee in me, let's see what we got. Stop. Please read. Do not enter the portal if you have any items you do not want to lose, including any armor you may have on. You'll be given a boat, a sapling, and a seed. You'll also be given four signs and the Book of Goals. Oh boy. And this is, this is a new way I like to construct using bedrock to kind of stop the users from getting at all the quote magic that I have installed under here. Well, are you ready guys? Let's check out domes. Bang. That hurt. Oh, hello. Have you ever seen this before? We are standing in the middle of a beacon pyramid beam. And before I step out, look down below. I have a sapling, a boat, and one seed and no armor. And our speed has been increased. All right, let's see. Let's step out a little bit. Ooh, we've got nighttime already. There's a dome. 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 We have got domes all over the place. Plus, some glitches. It's kind of cool, though. You can see there's a lot of good stuff down there. Well, I don't want the glitches, so let's see if we can't, just for a second, go back to tiny. There we go. That'll get rid of the glitches. These domes are fairly huge. Uh, whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you fall off of one of these things, and you're not getting back up. Well, all right. Let's just swim over to this dome for a second. This is one of my users, and let's see what they have labeled it. They have labeled it Wilboom7. Okay, I don't want to go into his area because um, I don't want to give away anything that we might be able to do, but I'm just going to step up on his little makeshift dock here so that we can put our boat in, and we'll hop in our boat, and now we can actually get out here and move. Um, this is a new adventure for me because um, I have never really dealt with living in an ocean. So with all the water, it keeps uh, the mobs down. Now I don't know if you saw this, but over in this person's dome, I saw a zombie. So it is very possible for the zombies and the other bad guys to spawn in. But let's just take a little travel and see what we can find with these domes. Then we're going to have to pick one of our own. I would like to stay away from some of the ones that have already been established. Um, this one looks pretty empty. Okay. These beacon pyramids help to figure out uh, where you're located. So you can see this person's really been building. Now they kind of broke the rule. They, they kind of built up top, but at least they're not building out. Um, if you look at the coloring of the beacon pyramids, it helps to figure out where within domes you're located. And uh, this one looks like an empty one. So let's swing by here. Uh, trying to get out to one of the outside edges. Um, the white beacon pyramids are central pyramids. So let's see what we can find out here. Here we go. The ones that have gold in them are the middle edges of the outside. 
Ah, and then I can see a lot of trees in that dome. I want to stay away again. I want to stay away from ones that have um, already been populated. That'll give us the best chance of surviving out here because we won't be in competition for resources from a person living in another dome. Okay, let's see. Yes, I think I see trees in that one. Um, trying to head towards one of the corners. The corners are beacon pyramids that uh, make use of emerald. Here we go. Um, so this is an outside corner of the 36 domes. It looks like both this dome and this dome are empty. So uh, let me just come out here. I want to swing around and I want to check these two domes that are closest to these outside ones just to make sure we don't have neighbors. Alright, let's see what's over here. Hmm. No, that one looks empty. Let's swing around. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Okay. And that one seems good. Alright, so let's swing around. Um, again, I want to stay by one of the corners. And I think for now, I want to get on the outside edge. Um, so the beacon pyramids that have emerald are the corners. So I'm just going to come out this way and slow down, maybe. Maybe. I want to turn around. Come on, turn around. There we go. Let's see if we can't carefully come in here. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is move and jump. There we go. So hopefully the boat will continue moving towards the dome. Yeah, it is. Good, good, good. Each dome has four entrances. So we can kind of come up here. Here we go. And I was toying around with challenge. Um, there are just enough torches inside of this to keep most of the mobs away. The rule of mobs say that a mob will not spawn within 24 blocks of you. Each dome is a circle that I believe is 32 blocks in cir or, uh, diameter. So if I was standing here, it's very possible that if I was to remove torches over there, bad guys could spawn on the far side. Okay, now they talked about signs in a book. We only have the tree, which actually while we're talking, let's get that thing planted. The seed we can't plant yet because it can only be planted on fertile soil, so we're going to have to wait on that. Ah, here we go. Alright, I'm going to put my seed away. Let's bring out these. The Book of Goals. We'll look at that in a second. But let's stake our claim to this dome. So I'm going to come out to this little pad area. I'm going to say Dotterin's Domes Video. And they gave us four signs so that we can label all four entrances. That way if it takes us a little while to build, um, nobody else is going to be coming over here, um, you know, taking our dome. Okay. All right two more signs here actually let's see now that we're inside let's scoot down to tiny which will speed us up here Dotterings domes video and one more sign then we'll take a look at what this book of goals is video. There we go. I'm also very uh, cautious of my food bar because we don't have any food. So, you know, this the seeds will hopefully allow us to have some wheat that we can turn into bread. But other than that, uh, I don't see any food sources. Um, I don't know if you noticed as we came up, but uh, the floor of every dome is grass 
sitting on top of one block of cobble. Okay, so we've got the grass and the cobble that we can make use of as well. All right, so now let's take a look here. I'm going to back up in case that tree grows while we're doing this. The Book of Goals. Let's see what this is about. This is what we're supposed to try and accomplish. Uh, how many points can you earn? Some domes are closer to the sea floor than others. These are easier challenges. Choose one that's on a deep water for a harder challenge. Actually, I didn't even see what that was, so we'll have to see. Create lots of boats as you'll need them. For one point, grow an oak tree. Well, isn't that what we're trying to do back there? So that might be good. For one point, grow wheat fully and harvest it. Okay, well, in order to do that, we're going to need a hoe. In order to make a hoe, we're going to need wood. In order to get wood, we're going to need this tree. So, okay. Three points if you craft a loaf of bread. 50 points if you craft 10 loaves of bread. Great. 20 points if you craft one of every wooden tool. 30 points, craft one of every stone tool. 40 points, craft one of every iron tool. 100 points if you build a log cabin with two glass windows, a door, and a roof. I hope that means at least two glass windows, a door, and a roof, because I don't like little houses. Um, I'm glad it didn't say create one of every diamond tool. That would have that, that would have been a killer. 75 points if you grow a jungle tree. Oh, that's going to be fun since we don't have any kind of land other than the water over here. 30 points if you craft some chocolate chip cookies, which means we're going to need cocoa beans from our jungle trip. 300 points if I create a safe route to beneath the sea floor. And I have sort of an idea on how we're going to do that. 200 points if we can mine four diamonds, which means we are going to have to go down there where the lava is located. 75 points if we can craft a diamond pick, which would be three diamonds, and we need four. Craft an enchanting table, which takes, is it one diamond or two? I thought it was two. But if it says mine, I think we're going to need three, four, five. I think we're going to need five diamonds, right? Because doesn't an enchanting table take two diamonds? Right, isn't it? Obsidian, 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 um, diamond, obsidian, diamond, and then a book on top. So I think we're going to need more than four diamonds. Um, 30 points if we can grow some sugar cane, and we know that's possible because we saw it at that other person's dome. 500 points if I can bring two cows to my dome. <laughs> Okay, uh, that one's going to be good. 300 points if I can harvest 45 pieces of leather, which means I am going to need a lot of cows. 200 points to craft 45 books to make 15 bookcases. Uh, and it takes 15 bookcases to make a full enchanting table room, which means, again, lots of leather. 100 points if I can place a 30 experience point enchant on a diamond pick. And 75 points if I can craft an anvil and then name my pick. Uh -huh, like the super dot pick or something, I don't know. 250 points if I can collect 100 rotten flesh. Oh, great. This is assuming that you kill a zombie and he drops one flesh. You would need to kill a hundred zombies. Sometimes they don't drop any flesh. Sometimes you look out and you might get two. But we're looking at, at probably at least killing a hundred zombies. Oh, that's going to be just fun. 500 points if I create 13 TNT blocks. Uh-oh. Uh, TNT 
blacks. Now, before I go to the next page, um, TNT means you need, what is it, sand and gunpowder? And gunpowder, as far as I know, only comes from one place, creepers. And I'm getting the recipe confused. Is it four pieces of gunpowder and five pieces of sand, or five pieces of gunpowder and four pieces of sand? Um, if we say four gunpowder, then what are we talking? 26, 52 pieces of gunpowder? If it's four? Holy crud. Uh, okay. A thousand points if I blow up my dome. That's right. Now I want you to blow your dome sky high. Let Dotterin know ahead of time so he can create a backup. Oh, all right. I'm like, I don't think I'm doing all this, but I get to blow up my dome. That could be sweet. So of all these goals and challenges, how many points can you earn? Oh, boy. I don't know. Um, wow. All right, some of these are going to be easy and, and pretty fast, I would think. Um, I, I hesitate to go out without food. I, uh, we were in that boat for a while, just kind of cruising around. Um, I wish you could kill these dudes and get food. That would be cool. Um, when we were in our boat and we were moving around, it didn't seem like we were getting very hungry. So that could be a, a, a good positive. Um, oh, boy. I've got nothing here. Nothing. Okay, well, I see we're at about 32 minutes. Um... We have established ourselves at an empty dome. We are just waiting on this tree to grow, and I believe it takes a day and a half in Minecraft time for a tree to grow. Um, I kind of put it near these couple of torches so there's enough light. Um, there's not much more we can do until this tree has grown. So I think uh, we're going to keep these videos to about 30 minutes. I will call it here for now, um, and hopefully in our next episode, this tree will have grown, and um, we'll be able to continue with this little adventure, okay? Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and uh, we'll see <laughs> how many times I die. Um, they did say that it reset my spawn point, so if I do die, I guess I'm coming back to my dome. Um, we'll just have to see. All right? Okay, guys, until next time, uh, it was great seeing you and talking to you, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.